this banana republic to be brought to a conclusion there's a couple of things you've got to do first of all you've got to wake up to the nonsense that's the, the drivel that at all le levels of politics are peddling from our local government behind me to our federal level in Canberra second thing you've got to do is learn to say no N O that's all just one word very simple little word it's got two letters N O no will not comply with your nonsense Julian Assange has dedicated his life to exposing a sliver of this nonsense the sliver of this nonsense that he exposed was our national security scam Nash, I'll repeat that national security scam the purpose of our military industrial complex is not to protect us I'll repeat that the purpose of our military industrial complex is not to defend our liberty. When our forefathers fought for our liberty, we've maintained our liberty. But that's all changed. The purpose of our military industrial complex is to keep us at war it's not about winning wars it's just being at war currently we're pouring our resources into the Ukraine in a proxy war and as all conflicts that preceded it going back to probably Korea or possibly even further most of my life have been wars designed firstly none of those wars have been won we have not won a war since the second world war so we're either really bad at warfare or there's another purpose Julian Assange exposed the evidence that leads us to the undeniable conclusion that the purpose of war is a transfer of wealth it's all about a transfer of wealth from we the taxpayers to the corporations associated with the military industrial complex it's a transfer of wealth from the bottom to the top 
It has other purposes to put us in fear. And once we're fearful, we'll do anything they say. We'll obey our masters. They provide the solution and they send our boys off to the other side of the world to protect us from a third world country that doesn't have an army, navy or air force. And then we proceed to bomb and poison and destroy one nation after another. And we're told to believe that it's all for our benefit. It's all for us. Oh, and by the way, they're saving the third world country that they're destroying from an evil dictatorship or something, and they're bringing democracy to them. That's the narrative. But it's not true. Julian Assange revealed the truth, and that is why they have been persecuting him since 2008, before any of the famous releases by WikiLeaks they identified Julian Assange as a threat to the military industrial complex. And they've been holding him in one form or another for th 13 years. Since 2010. Most of that time he was either under house arrest or he was locked inside and guarded 24 hours a day by the Metropolitan Police in a virtual prison in the Ecuadorian Embassy. And then after seven years in the Ecuadorian Embassy, they committed the ultimate atrocity. They invaded foreign soil. The Metropolitan Police were ordered to trespass and invade foreign soil because that's what an embassy is. It's actually part of another country. And they did that and dragged Julian out. One of the many travesties of justice that's been perpetrated against this man and the absolute worst travesty of justice has been his solitary confinement incarceration in Belmarsh, but Belmarsh Prison in the United Kingdom for the last, it's over four and a half years. Our government has done nothing. Even though they speak about doing something, there is nothing being done for Julian Assange. Nothing. Our politicians have done nothing. Shame. We can't call them political leaders. We must not see them as our leaders because they're not representing us. They're not representing Julian Assange, who, by the way, won a gold Walkley Award in 2010 or 2011 for his Afghan and Iraq war log releases that demonstrated the atrocities that we're perpetrating in third world countries. Julian Assange believes that war is started by lies and therefore the p peace can be brought to us with truth. Very simple idea, very powerful idea. And we're here on Julian Assange's behalf because he can't speak for himself anymore. 
He's been literally gagged now for four and a half years, held in solitary confinement, no access to sunlight, no access, his human rights, he's been a non-person for 13 years. His civil liberties have been removed from him. He has been disappeared. What they do in a banana republic when somebody stands up against the brutal dictator, they disappear them. Well, that's what's happened in our banana republic. We have disappeared Julian Assange. So we're here to remind you that he's a living, breathing man with a wife and a couple of young kiddies. And his intentions are good. He would like to see peace brought to earth. He would like to see the endless wars end once and for all. And we can do it, folks. We can do it. We are the strength. We must unite. And once we unite, we are unstoppable. And the politicians will follow our bidding. Just as they're talking about Julian now, because the polls show that 88% of Australians support Julian Assange. So if you're one of those 12% that don't know what's going on or are undecided or think that we really do, Julian really does threaten our national security, then I urge you to come and get one of these brochures and read a few facts about what Julian's done. And once you're convinced, you can sign an online petition that's got over three quarters of a million signatures. To find that petition, simply Google Julian Assange petition and look for the change.org petition. There'll be many there. But I want you to sign the change.org petition that Philip Adams is the curator of. So I urge you to sign that petition and if you'd like to come and get one of these little flyers, it's all written on there. Thank you very much. A couple of weeks ago, Caroline Kennedy, US Ambassador to Australia, was the messenger from the CIA. She floated this idea that, oh, we can solve this problem. We can do a little plea deal. And at first I was upset that Caroline Kennedy was talking about something that only really concerns one Australian, Julian Assange. 
it's obviously his decision as to whether he as an innocent man will plead guilty to a lesser crime than espionage but nonetheless a crime and how dare Caroline Kennedy come to this country and speak on his behalf but then I woke up and I thought hang on she's not speaking on Julian's behalf she's speaking on the behalf of the CIA she's offering a plea deal from the CIA because the CIA know that they can't make an espionage charge stick with Julian Assange an award-winning revolutionary scientific journalist a man that will be talked about for the next hundred years in schools and universities and the effect that he had on the world the revolutionary effect that he had on the world the CIA want to do a plea deal because they know that the charges they've got against him which would see him incarcerated for a maximum of 175 years ridiculous preposterous outrageous appalling are words that don't describe this appalling in your face flagrant miscarriage of justice and we all should be quaking in our boots until Julian Assange a Walkley award-winning Australian journalist is set free and paid compensation for the 13 years of his life that he has been illegally corruptly immorally detained must end now and we all should be thoroughly enraged because these corrupt politicians are not simply infringing upon one man's rights they are perpetrating a crime against all of us every single last one of us is being denied our right to know the truth and God help us if they get away with this you won't be hearing from us again on town hall steps because you know we don't go away with this is our 197th week we don't go away unless we're taken out so if we're not here one day you'll realize you left it too late before you stood with us against this monstrous atrocity so I plead with you if you do nothing else to help yourself and Julian Assange please get your phone out of your pocket or bag and put three words into your favorite search engine Julian Assange petition select the change.org petition 
that Philip Adams is running and put your name with the more than three quarters of a million people that have already signed that petition and that petition is before the International Criminal Court in The Hague where we're pursuing this injustice. That petition is also before our federal parliament. So please sign that petition, share it, share it with on your social media. Let's get that petition into the millions. Thank you. This is what the United States does to people who challenge uh, its imperialism. This is, this is what uh, the United States is trying to do. It's trying to make an example out of Julian Assange. That, you know, if you expose our crimes, we are going to persecute you until, we'll, we'll chase you until the, the Earth's end. Handcuffed, 11 times handcuffed. For what? He was in a bulletproof box all day in the court. Welcome to the 100 and 97th week of Julian Assange Sydney Town Hall gatherings. Julian Assange remains in prison with the prospect of imminent extradition to the United States of America. If he is extradited, he will be held in inhuman conditions more extreme than the inhuman conditions he is currently experiencing in Belmarsh. Our inhuman Australian government has chosen to put all of its support behind the governments that are responsible for the crimes against humanity that Julian's journalism exposed. We are here to proactively do something to help free Julian Assange because we believe in wholesome things like truth, justice, human rights and the need for peace. Every time we proactively do something, we gain a degree of control over the narrative. It may seem that the level of control we have over the narrative is modest, but we can see that we are making a worthwhile impact. People see us here every Friday. They realise that Julian is still not free and that those responsible for crimes against humanity are still free. Many people congratulate us for our efforts. We are making it clear to many that the truthful journalism of Julian Assange should not be swept under the carpet. We are making a difference. Just think what we would achieve if more people were standing with us. Our unity is based on the truth. The corruption of democracy depends on lies, propaganda, and censorship, which are all extremely detrimental to humanity. If we want decent people to live free and rewarding lives, we must overcome the lies, propaganda, and censorship that make the corruption of democracy possible. Everyone needs to exert control over the narrative if we are to enjoy optimal levels 
of democracy. Those who proactively support Julian Assange don't have large media corporations with glossy, highly produced propaganda to give us control over that narrative. Instead, we rely on the truth. In the end, it is truth that matters to ordinary people, and it is truth that will unite us. We are part of a worldwide grassroots movement that realises everyone must have access to the truth. Truth has been suppressed our whole lives. Freedom involves the liberation of truth. When a journalist like Julian Assange can be imprisoned for exposing the crimes of government, we have evidence of the essence of tyranny. We fight tyranny through truth and unity. We fight tyranny through our proactive efforts to control the narrative. As people walk along George Street, the greatest journalist of our time is being tortured to death in the United Kingdom under the Westminster legal system, which has denied Julian Assange his habeas corpus rights for 13 years. The inhuman conditions he is held in have led to him suffering a mini-stroke. Our Australian government should be helping him, but instead it is eagerly trying to please powerful, destructive interests and is not terribly keen on helping its own citizens. A succession of Australian governments has treated the needs of Australian people as less important than the wishes of governments like the United States and the United Kingdom. This is a corruption of our sovereignty. It is a corruption of our democracy. We need to stand up for ourselves by proactively working to free Julian Assange. By doing this, we are gaining more and more control over the narrative. And we are standing up for ourselves. Free, free Julian Assange. Free, free Julian Assange. Free, free Julian Assange. Thank you. We're coming up to our 